What is a good, just day in and day out type of retrieve for a chatterbait? And what are some of the others too while we're at it? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, guys and girls. April 12, April 12, beautiful, windy, warm day out here in southern Oklahoma. We're reading from a Catch a Better Life book, Catch a Better Life book, and uh, this is a book that took me a couple years to write. It's been out about a year. If you want a copy of this book, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com, Barnes & Nobles, Hobby Lobby, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Books A Million, just about anywhere books are sold. We'll be happy to autograph them, personalize them. If you order them from us, uh, we'd let us know that, and we'll do that. If you order them from somebody else, if you'll send them to us, we'll take care of that for you. We're looking at, by the way, this post every morning at 5 o'clock on YouTube, so if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you need to subscribe to that channel right now. Subscribe to the Jimmy Houston Catch a Better Life with Jimmy Houston. Catch a Better Life with Jimmy Houston. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. Uh, it will change your life for the better, promise, promise. Woo, this wind's blowing everywhere. I know my hair must look terrible, but it looks terrible when the wind's not blowing, so I don't worry too much about it. Nehemiah 8.10 says, Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Here's what I wrote about that. Tournament fishing teaches us that not every day is going to be a good one. Some days it's going to be windy. <laughs> The wind and water will not always be the way that we want them to be. We often need to reach down, way down inside of us, and muster up that something extra when we wake up to a strong, freezing north wind, rain, snow, whatever's going on. That's when tournament fishing, that's when tournament fishing becomes really, really challenging. Very much a challenge. The most challenging competition days are the ones where you've had a bad day the day before, you're so low in the standings, you are you really don't have a chance to make a check. You don't have a chance to make a check. You're gonna go out there and fish hard all day, but you don't have a chance to win any money. One's right after a really bad, one's really right after a bad weather day, and there's no hope to win any money, and yet you still gotta go play. You still gotta go play. Bad conditions multiply the bad performance that you're having. Those are the most challenging, difficult days in tournament fishing. Absolutely, no doubt about that. Those are the most challenging and difficult ones. Life, often just like that. Just like that. Bad stacking upon bad after bad after bad. There's a cloud running right over you and it's pouring down rain on you. I found the only way we can get through these days is to realize, realize what we have in Jesus. Realize what we have in God and how important we are to Him. How much God has done for us, how much God will continue to do for us. Today's verse says the joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. That makes us strong. The joy of the Lord makes us strong where we can get by these times and it allows us to go face the day with the right attitude, irrespective of what our problems might be. Attitude does a lot to solve those problems. And when we know our relationship with God and what God is able to do, that attitude right there is going to help us get through those tough situations in a really big way. Here's our tip for today. A constant steady retrieve at medium speed will work most days with a chatterbait. Just throw it out there, let it come kind of steady, constant retrieve. Pop your rod tip every now and then if you want. That's adding a little bit to it. You throw it out there like Roland Martin does a lot, let it fall all the way down to the bottom, pick it up, let it drop, pick it up, let it drop, pick it up, and let it drop. That's Roland's favorite technique. But day in and day out, you'll catch a lot of fish on a chatterbait by just throwing those things out there, letting them come in on a medium retrieve. As they're coming in, they're getting a little bit deeper, 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 and they get closer to the boat, they come up shallower. It's a dynamite technique. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Don't get blown away. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>